on and we'll go ahead and get started. Welcome, thank you for being here. And today we're actually gonna get started on our backs. So go ahead and come to lay down. And once you're on your back and take your time getting there, you can hug your knees into your chest for a moment. And it just might feel good to rock gently from side to side. Just feeling the muscles around your spine massaging into the floor. And feeling your breath, aware of the breath coming in and out, breathing through your nose if you can. Good. And then bring the hips to stillness and keep your right knee drawn in, but extend your left leg down to the floor and flex both feet and just feel the gentle stretch in your hip here. Breathing into that. And then keeping the right knee drawn in, go ahead and hold behind the thigh with both hands. Again, the feet are flexed. And inhale, extend the right heel toward the ceiling, pull the toes back and feel the back of your leg lengthen. And then exhale, bend the knee, bring it back into your chest. And then inhale, extend the leg toward the ceiling or reaching through the heel. And then exhale, knee to chest. And then just do that a few more times. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. Inhale, extend. And exhale, bend. One more time. Extend the leg, inhale. And then bend the knee. And then go ahead and extend the right leg down to the floor and we'll switch sides. Go ahead and bring the left knee into your chest and just staying here for a breath or two to start. Both feet are flexed. Go ahead and then hold behind the left thigh with both hands. Inhale, extend the leg toward the ceiling, pull the toes back and then exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, extend, and exhale, bend. Good, just a few more times. Extend, and bend. Extend, and bend. Good, once more, extend, and exhale, bend. Good. Go ahead and extend the left leg down to the floor. All right, then I'm gonna ask you to bring both knees back into your chest. All right, now keep the knees drawn in. Go ahead and bring your arms down by your side and tuck the hands under your hips just a little bit here. This will help stabilize your low back in this next part. So with your hands there, extend your legs toward the ceiling, pull the toes back. And we're gonna move one leg at a time here. So take a deep breath in. With your exhale, extend your right leg forward toward the floor until it's about four inches off the floor. Right leg forward. Then inhale, lift the right leg up. Then exhale, take the left leg forward, about four inches off the floor. Then inhale, bring it back up. Good, right leg. Inhale, lift. Exhale, left leg. Inhale, lift. Try to keep your lower back on the floor the entire time. Right leg. Inhale, lift. Left leg. Inhale, lift. Couple more times. Right leg, exhale. Inhale, lift. Left leg, exhale. Inhale, lift. Take the right leg forward and stay this time. The foot hovering off the floor about four inches. Breathe. Feel the lower back connecting to the floor. Three, two, and one. Lift the right leg up. Exhale, take the left leg down. Again, hovering about four inches off the floor. Lower back connected to the floor. Breathe. Three, two, 
And one, lift all the way up. And hug your knees into your chest. Good, taking a deep breath in. And out. Beautiful. Good, so from here, go ahead and take your arms out to the side, making a T shape with your body. Of course, if there's not a lot of space, you can just bend the elbows and do cactus arms instead. Good, so keeping the knees drawn in toward your body, take a deep breath in. With your exhale, drop your knees to your right side. Then inhale, come back to center. Then exhale, drop the knees to the left side. Try to keep your shoulders on the ground here. Inhale back to center, exhale to the right. Inhale back, exhale left. Keep going. Inhale back to center, exhale twist. Rounding the shoulders, grounding the arms. Just a couple more times from side to side, getting the spine nice and warmed up here. One more time on each side, to the right, and to the left. And as the knees come back to center from the left, go ahead and stop. You can hold on to the knees if you'd like to and just take an adjusting breath. Good, and then go ahead and bring the feet flat to the floor, heels underneath your knees. Good, and the feet are about hip width apart, prepping for bridge pose. And your arms can stay down by your sides. With your next inhale, go ahead and lift your hips toward the ceiling, pressing the pelvis upward. And then exhale, release the hips back down. Okay, let's do that again. Inhale, lifting up, pressing the hips toward the ceiling. And exhale, releasing down. Good, again, inhale, lifting the hips. Exhale, releasing down. We'll just a few more rounds. Pressing up into bridge pose. Releasing down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale. Exhale. Let's do two more times. Inhale. Exhale. And then press up into the pose. We'll stay in the pose. Inhale, lift up. And staying for about three or four breaths here. Feeling the pelvis press toward the ceiling. And also feeling a deepening of the back bend in the upper back. So think about your chest coming closer to your chin. Good, one more breath, press up. And exhale, carefully release the hips on down. Take an adjusting breath here. Good. And then from here, go ahead and roll to your right side. And we're gonna come up to hands and knees, table pose. Good, bringing the hands underneath your shoulders, knees beneath the hips. With your inhale, look forward. And with your exhale, go ahead and sink back into child's pose. See to the heels, forehead toward the floor. Then inhale, come back up to hands and knees. And then exhale, again, sink back into child's pose. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, releasing back. Good, and then inhale up to hands and knees. Please curl the toes under and lift your hips into the air, coming into downward facing dog. Good, so it's the first down dog of class. Let's walk it out a bit. So press one heel to the floor as you bend the opposite knee, lengthening one leg and then lengthening the other. And as you're doing that, try to make sure the hips are reaching toward the ceiling. So it's like you're flattening the back out. One leg, then the other, breathe. Good. 
Good. Now, when you feel complete here, go ahead and carefully walk your hands back to meet your feet coming into the standing forward fold. Just allowing the upper body to drape down over the legs. Release the shoulders, release the head. Just letting it all hang heavy here. Noticing where you're placing the weight of your body in your feet. If it's more toward the heels, just lean forward gently into the balls of the feet. You'll feel more length in the backs of the legs and maybe even your lower back. Good. Now from here, please press your palms to your shins. Straighten the arms, bring the chest parallel to the floor, looking down at the ground. With your exhale, fold back into the standing forward fold. Good, let's do that again. Palms to shins, halfway up, chest parallel to the floor. And exhale, fold. One more time, halfway up, inhale. Exhale, release. And then bend your knees a bit deeper. And then roll yourself all the way up to standing, a single vertebrae at a time, stacking the spine as you come up. Hmm. Good. Feeling sensation as we come to standing. All right. So we're going to do some arm swings next. And this really just helps to get the shoulders nice and open as well as the upper spine. And it's also kind of invigorating. So it helps to wake you up. Great thing to do first thing in the morning. So this is a three part inhale through the nose, which means and one powerful exhale out of the mouth. The navel kind of pulls back to help that exhale out. The movement itself is that the feet will be about hip width apart, nice stable stance. And it'll be inhale, arms up, inhale, arms swing back, inhale, arms up again, and then exhale, jab the elbows back. Okay, and we'll do that with the breath. We're gonna do it for about two minutes. So go at a pace that works for you, all right? So when you're ready, inhale, arms up, Inhale back, inhale up, exhale, jab the elbows back. Inhale back, back, up and jab. Up, back, up, jab. Inhale, 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 exhale. Feeling the shoulders nice and loose here and feeling the full rotation of your shoulder joints. Up, back, up, and jab. It's a big inhale as well. Allow that three-part inhale to fill the lungs to a comfortable capacity. And of course, there's that powerful exhale. You wanna feel the navel pull into the spine, exhaling out of your mouth clearing your respiratory system, clearing out the lungs, clearing out the uh, airway, <laughs> so your throat. <sighs> and we're about halfway done, so we're going for another minute. If you need to slow the movement down, do so. <sighs> About 30 more seconds. Almost there. Three. Two, and one, release. Whew. Let your breath adjust, feel sensation, tingling in the arms and hands, cooling in the nostrils and at your throat. Maybe it feels like the mind is a bit clearer as well. Hmm. 
Right. And then go ahead and step your feet just a little bit wider apart. So about shoulder width apart. So just a hair wider than we had before. And lift the left arm up and overhead. With your right hand, reach up and grab the left wrist and traction the arm toward the ceiling. So pulling straight up. Good. And then keeping that length, I want you to think about your spine and think about the mid spine, which is right about here. And then allow your chest just to tilt to the right. Good. So we're not overextending from the hip. It's really just this tilting of the rib cage. Feeling length on that left side. Breathe. Good. Inhale, come up. Release the arms. Good. And we'll do that other side. Lift the right arm up and overhead. Reach up and grab the wrist and pull it up first. Good. And then think about the upper spine and rib cage and just tilt the rib cage to the left. And again, breathing here. Good, then come up and release the arms on down. Okay, all right. So go ahead and step to the top of your matter space, just so that you have enough space behind you to do some movement. And you're gonna step your right foot way back and have the back foot flat on the floor, the toes pointing forward about 45 degrees so that your hips can rotate to point forward as well. And if you need to, you can widen the stance, the feet wider on your mat if you need to. Good, just have the hands on the hips to start. Take a deep breath in. With your exhale, go ahead and bend your left knee toward its middle toe, and then inhale, straighten the leg. And then exhale, bend the left knee again, sinking down. Inhale, come up. Now, as we're bending this front knee, go ahead and do it again. Think about grounding the pinky edge of your right foot behind you. Inhale up, exhale, sinking in, and inhale up. Good, let's add the arms. So take the arms down, and as you sink into the front knee, lift the arms up and overhead. Good, exhale, release the arms, straighten the knee. Inhale, come into the pose, lift the arms. Exhale, straighten the leg. Two more times. Exhale, or inhale, sink in. Exhale, come back. Inhale, sink in. Exhale, come back. Good. We're gonna hold this time. Go ahead and sink in and stay for just three breaths. Good, deep breath in. And exhale, straighten the knee, release the arms. Good, let's go ahead and do the other side. When you're ready, step the right foot forward and then step the left foot way back. Again, the back foot is flat on the floor, toes pointing forward about 45 degrees. Hips are rotating forward as well. Hands on the hips to start, take a deep breath in. Exhale, bend into the right knee. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, bending in. Inhale up, think about grounding through the pinky edge of your left foot as you sink into the front knee. Inhale up, or exhale up. <laughs> Inhale, sink in. Exhale up, good, let's add the arms. Arms down by your sides. Inhale, lift the arms up, sink into the knee. Exhale, straighten the knee, release the arms. Inhale, sink in. Exhale, back up. A couple more times. Good, we're gonna hold this time, bend to the front knee, stay. About three breaths here.
Good. And then straighten the knee, release the arms down. And step the back foot forward. And so now we're going to come into a wide leg stance. So we're going to take the feet nice and wide apart and have the toes pointing directly forward. Okay. Sometimes they want to go out to the side. They're going to point forward now. Good. So take a deep breath and reach your arms up. As you exhale, hinge at the hips and swan dive, fold forward down over wide legs. Inhale, reverse that. Sweep the arms out to the sides. Come all the way back up. And exhale, sink all the way back down, folding forward. Inhale, all the way back up again. And fold. And up. Two more times, fold and back up. And then go ahead and fold forward and stay in the forward fold. The knees can be bending slightly here, just allowing your upper body to drape down into the space in front of the legs. Release your head and shoulders here. Good. With your next inhale, sweep the arms out to the sides, coming all the way back up. Stay standing, bring the arms down. Good. And then go ahead and bring the feet together. I'm just standing tall for a moment, just feel the feet planted on the ground and just feel sensation from the feet up. So we know what's happening in the feet, ankles, legs pelvis, abdomen, rib cage, chest, upper back, shoulders, arms, hands, neck, and head. And take a deeper, fuller breath. And allow yourself to come on back. All right. So that is our class for today. Thank you so much for coming. I hope you enjoyed it. And